Hello, everybody. This is Pastor David Newell. Trust you're having a great week. Boy, we had a blowout of, well, we had two blowout services on Sunday with Pastor Festus. He was awesome. And uh, man, if you missed, especially the evening service uh, on worship, you need to get the CD of it. Uh, everybody was laid out. The Holy Spirit came and just people were laid out everywhere. It was wonderful. And uh, so we will look for you Sunday as well. I'm going to be speaking to you about the gates, the restoration of the gates. You say, why are you doing that? Well, I received a prophetic word. My, uh, Ina and I both received a prophetic word from Isabel Allen several weeks ago when she was here. And she said, by all means, teach on the restoration of the gates. Why that? Well, gates speak of entrance. Uh, there are 12 gates in in Jerusalem, there are 12 gates in the New Jerusalem in heaven. There are 12 apostles of the Lamb. All right, 12 is the number of perfect government. 12 speaks about the, the gates, speak about 12 revelations of the Holy Spirit in these last days that the Lord wants us to enter into. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. And it's late. Were you going to make those up, Pastor Dave? No, these are from the Word of God, from Nehemiah chapter 3. And, uh, you know, the Bible says first comes the natural, then the spiritual. There were first natural gates, then there are spiritual gates. We are living in the days when we are going to be entering into brand new revelation through the Holy Spirit. And God wants us to dwell in that and live in that. And so we will be looking for you on Sunday. Also, I want to give you, uh, some of you that are very new, some of you that maybe are hearing me for the first time, I want to give you my testimony. I just felt prompted by the Holy Spirit to do this. And I'll make it brief, but uh, I was from the Northeast, from New Jersey. My dad was a stockbroker. He was uh, an alcoholic, but God set him free and delivered him. Uh, he and my mother opened their home for Bible studies on Friday night. Uh, for people in the Alcoholics Anonymous community that wanted more than just the 12 steps. Uh, they wanted uh, to know more about Jesus. And so that was my parents' ministry. When I went to college, you know, I joined a fraternity. I got, I partied. I was in the party life. I was drinking every day. People would come into my room. they say, hey, Newell, you want to go drinking? I'd stick my hand out. I'd say, twist my arm. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, I'll go with you. And uh, I had to go to summer school uh, during the summer. I had to take 12 hours because uh, I wouldn't, they weren't going to let me back unless I did the 12 hours. The second part of the summer, all my friends had gone home. There were very few of us there still at the school. And I remember one night getting down on my knees and saying, Lord, I'm tired of the way I'm living. And... I don't know if you're real or not. I said, you're real to my parents, but you're not real to me. And if you are real, if you exist, I want to know you. And if you are real and exist, then I am sorry for all the stuff that I've done. And I just want to know you. Well, I have to tell you, I didn't expect anything. I didn't ask for thunder or lightning or a cloud to come in or anything like that. I didn't. I just didn't know what to expect. But I was sincere. The next thing that happened just totally blew my mind. It was beyond anything I could have ever expected. Jesus Christ walked into the room. I, had, I was on my knees and I had my eyes closed. And all of a sudden, this presence comes into the room and I'm totally surrounded by light. The atmosphere around me was literally charged, electrically charged. I felt like I was in the presence of a transformer. But the presence of Jesus was so loving and that it was just like wave after wave of his presence of his love just hit me over and over again to the point where I literally thought I couldn't take this anymore in my physical body. You know, that I didn't know that scripture, but it came to me, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. And then all of a sudden, this just this like laser-like thought was deeply put into my mind that 
I was loved and I was that God had called me. And um, then slowly that intensity of his presence began to recede. But I never told anybody about that for a while because I didn't know anybody that had had an experience like that. But I knew that God's hand was on me and the time came when several years later when I made a full surrender to him to preach the gospel. But I just wanted to give you this testimony and it's been over 50 years since I've been walking with the Lord and uh, it gets better all the time. I will look for you Sunday. God bless you is my prayer.